this is how we make clay, that New Mexico clay. First, they batch the clay. They get a batch, sort of like baking. You have some flour, you have some sugar. So they get all their ingredients together. Right now, they're now, then they uh, when they have it loaded up, they put it near the mixer so that they can pull the bags off and put them in, cut them into the mixer. Here Richard's cutting the bags open and dropping it into the ribbon blender. Notice there's no dust. That's because uh, we have a dust control system with a uh, HEPA filter on it. Usually when they're handling bags of clay, they wear their respirators anyway. Now the clay is in the what we call the pre-pugger, and we're mixing it with water. This is a very large machine. It'll hold a ton of clay at a time. Mixing it, mixing it. It's very well mixed. The mixing process takes about 15 minutes. Now uh, from the mixer it's going to get extruded into the uh, pug mill. A pug mill is actually an extruder and um, it gets mixed some more. gets compressed and then um, cut into tiny little pieces in a vacuum. So this is a vacuum chamber. It has about 25 inches of vacuum. The soap bubbles you see are just so that it doesn't fog up and you can see inside. Then the clay comes out and there's a hydraulic cutter. It just went by there. And they uh, are going to test the clay to see how hard or soft it is. This is called a penetrometer. And then it's put into um, plastic bags. Twister sealed. Put into boxes. It's very labor intensive. These guys lift about three or four tons a day or more. And then they seal it up. And someday we'll have a warehouse full of clay.